Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you all the export options in Wondershare Filmora 11.5. So you know that we have a new new version and we have so many export options and, and some interesting features that I think is worth making a new tutorial for you. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to export your whole project and how to export a portion of the timeline and how to create a export preset as well as how to export a transparent background in the software also. And being mentioned that if you want to export the video, you need to register an account with Filmora. Okay, so if you want to try Filmora 11, I will put the link in the description for you to download it. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so now I'm inside my computer screen and the first option in order to export a video, you need to have an account. So for example, here, we need to log in to my account here. And then I want to type my email address. And rest next. And now I want to input my password and log in and wait a few minutes. Okay, so login successfully. So the first option is to export the whole timeline. So it is very easy. You have an export option right here. Just, just click this button if you want to export the whole project. Okay, just click the export button. And now you will have an export window. So here you can select local if you want to save the file to your computer. And they have different output format here. For example, MP4, WMV, AVI, HEVC, and so on. If you want to export only the audio, you can select this one, MP3. Okay, and for the next thing, you want to select the device. If you have a specific device to display your video, such as a widescreen TV or iPhone, iPod, or something like that, you can select device. And the next option is YouTube, which is an option for you to export the video and upload the video directly to YouTube. Uh, by the way, you need to log into your YouTube account right here. And some sometimes it has some problem. So I never log into my YouTube account right here. Just export the video to my computer and then I'm going to upload it manually. Okay. And the next option is Vimeo, which is another uh, video sharing platform. And the last option is to create a DVD and but nowadays most people don't want to create a dvd they just want to export to mp4 and upload to youtube okay and so you need to go to your local and then if you want to upload to youtube just select this one mp4 and now you want to select a name here my for example i can select example video and i have an option here to save the video so just click this button to find the location on your computer to save the video and we mentioned that you need a, a place that has enough storage okay so for example i can select my export folder here and then i can select export folder and select the folder now it will be saved in this location and the next thing you want to go to more setting okay just click this button for more setting and now you need to select the best quality for your video and the the bit rates has been increased to 10,000. By the way, I think 10,000 is not enough. So normally I will go with 20,000 kbps. Okay, just click here and change it to 20,000. And now you want to click OK. And if you want to save this preset for YouTube or stuff like that, you can click this button to save it as a preset. So just click here and let me say YouTube preset number two. And then we want to click save and that's easy, right? And now you can click the export button. By the way, there's some more option right here. So if you check this option and be careful with this option, for example, if you want to upload to cloud because Wondershare offer a free cloud platform with one gigabyte. And if your video is longer or bigger than one gigabyte, uh, and then you check this option, you will not be able to export the video. Okay, so never check this box. And then you want to click the export button. And after that, you can select an option here with sound reminder or shut down your computer or do nothing. Normally, I will select sound reminder. So it will tell me when the export is finished. Okay. So just wait a few moments. A few moments later. Okay. So when the export is finished, we can, we can click here, open the folder to view the output. 
Just click here to open the folder. And here's my output. Just double click to play it. Very nice, right? So that is the first option. How to export the whole project to an MP4 in Filmora 11. And let me show you another option. Okay, so for example, if you want to export just a portion of the timeline, it is possible now. If I want to export this portion on the timeline, all I need to do is to press the X key on my keyboard. Just press the X key to show the in point and out point of the software. Okay, so now we have an in point here and out point here. By the way, there is an in point and out point here also. And if you want to adjust the in point and out point, all you need to do is to move the in point right here and also the out point right here. So you see it? Uh, we have two green line here on the timeline. And now you want to click the export button again. Okay, and now you want to do the same. Just so select MP4 and then you want to save it a name or style like that and go to setting or style like that and then you want to change the beat rate and select the video quality and then you can click OK and now you can click export to export just a portion of the timeline. Okay, so here's the portion of my timeline. Just click open folder and now we have a short shorter video. Just double click to play it. Okay, very short, just three seconds, right? So the next option is to export a transparent background in Filmora 11. Okay, so let me just close this one and go back to the timeline. And they mentioned that if you want to cancel the selected portion here, all you need to do is to press Shift X on your keyboard, or you can just right click at the timeline and then you want to select an option to cancel the export selected range here. Okay, so if you want to export a transparent background, for example, let me hide this one so I don't have the video track. Uh, for example, I want to just export this title, okay? Uh, all I need to do is to go to the export tab again, just click here and go to the export tab. And then we will have this option, GoPro CD form in the export window. If you want to export a transparent background, all you need to do is to select this one, GoPro CD form. And you want to give it a name also, so let me say transparent. Okay, something like that. And we want to go to setting. Okay, and at the encoder, you need to select this one, CF HD Alpha. Okay, and for the bit rate, we can leave it by automatic or style like that, and then we can click OK. And now go back to the export, and then we can export the video with a transparent background. Just click here to export. Okay, so let's open it and import it to Filmora to show you the transparent background. Just click here, open folder. And this is my transparent background. So all I need to do is to drag and drop it right here, for example, because this is a title, okay? And now we can show the video at the bottom to see the transparent background, okay? So let's play it. See that? We have a title here. Very nice, right? So that is how to export a transparent background video in Filmora 11. And the last option, if you want to create an export preset for your video, all you need to do is to go to the export again. And then you want to go to further setting. For example, I can select MP4 and then I can go to setting. And now I need to select a video quality, frame rate and bit rate or something, something like that. And finally, I can click this button to save a new preset for my video. Okay, just click here and let's say Facebook or stuff like that. And then we can click save. And now you want to use this preset or change the preset. All you need to do is to click it at this drop down menu and then you can select your export preset right here. Alright, so that is all the export option in Filmora 11.5. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.